I'm Claire Lower from Life Hacker, and today I'm going to show you how to clean your taxidermy with some help from this little guy. There are a couple ways you can clean your taxidermy mounts. One, and this is if you do it weekly, which is what you should do, you can use a duster. You want to dust in the direction of the hair growth. You never want to go against the hair. But if that doesn't work, you can use a Swiffer cloth, which is actually my favorite. Gently wipe in the direction of the hair growth, not against. So now for all these kind of like more delicate, hairy areas, like the eyelashes, the whiskers inside the ears, I like to take a can of compressed air and just You don't want to hold it too close, just like seven inches away. And try not to touch it with your fingers, because you're just gonna contribute your hand oils, and uh, that will eventually make your taxidermy look like crap. So for the nose and the antlers, you can take a damp cloth and just gently wipe them. You can take a damp cloth to the fur as well, if you think that's really necessary, but I try to keep that dry. And definitely never put anything oily anywhere on your mount. Now, for the eyes, you just wanna take a Q-tip that's been dipped in some glass cleaning solution. And just kind of wipe. And then use the other side to dry. One very important key thing about owning and caring for taxidermy is that you should not pet your pieces. You shouldn't stroke their soft fur. You shouldn't rub them against your cheek. This is difficult for me, especially with this little guy because he is so cute and he is so soft and I love him so much. But each time you rub your gross grubby hands on a piece of taxidermy, you shorten its lifespan. So for cleaning little guys like this, you can just kind of hit them with a feather duster gently. And you can, of course, take some compressed air. You want to make sure you hang your pieces in a fairly cool, fairly dry environment. You don't want them to be in direct sunlight. You don't want them to get humid or damp or moist. And even though it looks cool, you don't necessarily want to hang them up directly over our fireplace. I mean, if you do, I would recommend taking them down every once in a while. Maybe switch out one deer head for another deer head. I don't know how many deer heads you have. 